So I almost burnt down my stupid barracks room for two reasons. Number one, somebody did something stupid, and then I did something stupider. Here's the scenario, right? I bought this cool little hot water heater, 12,000 won, which is like, I don't know, 11 bucks. Fantastic deal. It's 220 only. Now I happen to have a 220 to, well, it's 110 step up converter, or step up transformer, I should say. 110 comes in, 220 comes out. Didn't find how many amps this thing draws, however, I know Ohm's Law by heart, so I just divided the 1500 rated watts by 220 volts, gives me like 6.8 amps. Never occurred to me to check the stupid transformer. And sure enough, I come over here, the water's done blowing, and I come over and there's smoke just pouring out of the top. Like, the poor thing's just letting the smoke monster out all over the place. So I unplug it, run in the bathroom real quick because I've got a vented roof, or vented uh, bathroom. Open the window, open the door, you know, try to pull in all the air I can so I don't set the stupid smoke alarm off. This thing's still warm. It's been 20 minutes. Well, maybe more than that. And what... So the stupid part was, I knew how many amps this thing drew, but I didn't check this to see how many amps it would draw. This thing, or what it would give safely. This thing's only rated for 5 amps max. With a, I can't read what that is. 110, I assume 110 in, 5 amps output, 220 volt at 4.5. So let's just say... At best, this thing will give four and a half amps, which is two point what three amps less than what this thing was trying to draw through it. So of course, the primary winding in this started to melt, and that's going to be hard to see. Focus. There you go. See the winding started to let loose and really tarnish, or really start to melt right there because I was drawing way too many amps through it. Now, here's where the second part of stupider happened. Mine was dumb, this one was dumber. I go, well, that's odd. Why wouldn't the fuse blow? If it should, I was like, I bet some moron put a higher capacity fuse in here than what it's supposed to be. I would assume this thing would have maybe, you know, four or four and a half amp fuse. But no, somebody stuck a 12 and a half amp fuse in here. 250 volt, but 12 and a half amp. So this uh, this thing was nowhere near blowing before this thing was blowing. So if you take away anything from this little life lesson, always replace with the proper fuse. And if you can't, if you can't find a four and a half amp fuse in here, Put a lower capacity fuse in, four amp, three and a half, three, you know, whatever you can. If you if you overload it, it's just gonna blow the fuse. So be it. You'll just blow sooner rather than later, and you'll save the expensive stuff. So now the question remains. I don't have any more 220 volt inverters. So if I run this on 110. It's still going to pull 1,500 watts, which, let's see here, 100, 100, you know, 1,500 watts divided by 110, so it's like 12.5 amps, which would be fine, except that the wires in here are small, because they're only having, you're pushing 220 volts, but you're only doing it through, you know, 6.5 amps, 6.8 amps, something like that. So if I do that to 110, I double the amperage to keep the same wattage because I've halved the voltage. So does that mean this thing will then burn up? I don't know, but I'm not willing to find out tonight.